Hey guys, Club Carry here, and I'm back with another ant video, as you can see. And there, as you can see here, there is one of our queens with three workers and a nice pile of a uh, of a uh, larvae there, and the uh, black smudge there is an old uh, earwig that's uh, been eaten. So they're doing quite well, three workers. And the queen looks quite good, healthy, her gas is really full, you can see the white bandings there. Means it's expanded, probably ready to lay some eggs, filled from that earwig, so they're doing good. They dragged off the paper though, which I'm not too happy about, so it's going to be difficult getting that out. But overall, this uh, colony is doing good, and I've recently joined a uh, Facebook group called uh, Ant Keepers and Fans, so that's an awesome uh, group to check out, and um, they identified this species possibly to be um, Ochitellus, I think that's how you pronounce it, so that's probably what these ones are, so I'm quite happy about that, kind of knowing what they are, or probably knowing what they are, and one of the workers there is tuckering into that earwig there. I liking that, and they're looking good, so we'll move on to our, uh, one of my newest species, the meat Iridomomyx purpurus, if you want to know the technical term, the name at least, so here they are, I've caught this one about probably an hour ago, and she's looking good. Real big, caught, I uh, found her making a claustral chamber in the sand in that backyard, so uh, that's good. And right about 10 centimeters next to her, I found this one, another of the same species making a claustral chamber. So these guys are meat ants and they make massive colonies and they get up to their hundreds of thousands of workers, so I'm really pumped to get uh, this colony. Uh, in a uh, Hebel formicarium that I've made, which once a colony gets to a reasonable size, I'll put one into. So, next, moving on to this species here, which are Tetramorium. See, plenty of little eggs. Three queens in this one. So, I tried something different. They seem to be cooperating. Plenty of eggs, one still got her wings. Sorry for the glare there. But they're doing fine. Not much actually in this one. That's alright. So, we'll move on to our next and oldest piece. Uh, my oldest one here. My Campanotus consubrinus or banded sugar ant. She's nice and fat. Going well. Up over this way. My Mamesia uh, mandibularis species, who is not coming out of a test tube, so she doesn't want to come out for the camera. But I have to sneak some footage in later of her. But you could type this species up, and you'll see some more better photos. But I'll have to get some footage of her. And these are semi claustral species, so they need foraging area and food. So she's in the test tube right now. Hopefully, it has eggs, a bit of honey. And I tried giving her some nuts, but she doesn't like them. She hasn't touched them, so I'll probably take those out. So I'll have to, uh, uh, in the next day or so, get some footage of her post it up so and here's my tetramorium species um, otherwise known as pavement ants and as you can see they have about I counted 10 workers the other day so that's awesome and that little white thing in the center of the screen there that is a sesame seed and that's a cricket egg as you can see there there's some sesame seeds that I put in. And I also tried putting in some uh, fennel seeds, but I don't think they like them. They seem to have eaten 
taking in some of the sesame seeds, which is good. They're eating. I've given them this test tube here, which has water, uh, sugar water. This one's pretty much ran out of the water, and here's another water test tube here. Sorry for the bad footage, and this one, it's a bit hard getting it in a tank. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.